This tutorial will demonstrate how to pull data into Microsoft Excel 2013 using an OData feed. We will connect to the OData feed using Microsoft Power Query. Then we will add the data to the Power Pivot data model. So OData is basically a standardized protocol for organizing data that's available over an internet connection. Uh, you can learn more about it at odata.org, which we're looking at right now. I'll go ahead and move over to a data set which is publicly available for people to download and use. This is in the City of San Francisco's Open Data Portal, and the data is film locations in San Francisco. And in this Socrata portal, you can see that there's several different columns in the data, title, location, fun facts, production company, um, the different actors, the writers, uh, quite a few different useful columns. It'll be fun to, uh, to pull into a solution in Excel. If we go to the export button at the top, you'll see one of the options is for OData. Here you'll see that there is a link and we can go ahead and copy this link and then take it over to Microsoft Excel 2013. Up at the top, you'll see that the plugin for Power Query has been enabled. We will go ahead and select on the ribbon from other sources from OData feed. At this point, we'll go ahead and add the URL uh, to the interface. Hit OK. And now you can see that the preview version of the data has been pulled into Microsoft Excel. Uh, one thing that's nice about Power Query is that if you need to, you can modify the data that's coming in. Uh, for example, you can see here that the ID is basically just an integer. And um, you can see because the integer is on the right hand side that it will be pulled in as an integer or as a numeric value. Uh, if we don't need that column, we can just right click and select remove. Next, you'll see is the title of the different movies, along with the release year, locations, fun facts, production company, distributor, director, writer, and then the actors are in separate columns. Let's say you wanted to separate the writers uh, apart. You can see that the first example here actually has several writers that have been added uh, to this column. Uh, you can just right click, split column by delimiter. And we will use a comma at in each instance of the delimiter and select OK. Now you'll see that there are four different columns for a writer, so that if there is more than one writer, uh, the secondary values will also uh, appear in the data set as uh, unique instances. Uh, you might also want to uh, do this again for the ampersand symbol, uh, just because it looks like sometimes they use a comma and sometimes they use an ampersand in order to distinguish uh, multiple writers within that column. Uh, once you have the data looking the way that you'd uh, like it to appear uh, in the data set, go ahead and hit done. Now you'll see that the data has been pulled into a new sheet in Excel 2013. And on the right hand side, you'll see that the data is loading from the source. There's 1,067 roads that have been downloaded. And from this point, we can go up to the Power Pivot selection on the ribbon, and we can select Add to Data Model. Once that has been done, the Power Pivot window will open, and you'll be able to see that uh, that data that has been pulled in using Power Query is now available in Power Pivot uh, to be mashed up with other data sources or to be modified to have calculations added to do a number of different things uh, with great ease that allow you to more effectively uh, browse that data and pull it into a nice business intelligence solution. Once you've done a little bit of data modeling in Power Pivot, you can then start building your own slice and dice filtered dashboards in Excel 2013. So you can see here off to the left, we have a slicer for the year that the movie was released. We have another slicer for the production company that produced the movie. So for example, you can see we have Warner Brothers selected. If we wanted to add Universal Pictures, we could add that to the mix. You'll see that there's a list by director and how many movies that they directed during that time. There's a chart looking at the count of movies by year and the color coding is based upon which production company uh, actually was in charge of that movie. 
And then down at the bottom, you can also see who the primary or first actors were um, for each of those movies. So you can see that uh, over the entire data set, the primary actor with the largest number of movies was Clint Eastwood. And you can see the movies that he was in were The Enforcer, The Deadpool, and Sudden Impact, which are three very good movies from the Dirty Harry series. If you wanted to update the data set in the future, one of the nice things about using Microsoft Power Query with an OData feed is you can move over to the sheet where the data has been pulled in. You can hit the refresh button and the program will use the OData feed to reach out to the San Francisco open data portal and pull in uh, whatever data is sitting there. And if it's been updated, you'll get the new data. So we've just walked through a process to connect to an OData feed using Power Query, pull the data in, add it to the data model in Power Pivot, and then you can start building your own business intelligence reports. For additional information, updates, and new videos, please visit our website at opendatabits.com.